Hey guys, back again. Got a new parcel for you. I was actually surprised by uh, how large it is actually. So, let's get ripped into it. Right, can you see me there? Wow. Fax file. My goodness. Can you see that? Beasts of, of the Mesozoic. I've heard about this all the time, like uh, then need to get hold of the such a specimen, but wow! Look at that packaging! That is just neat, that. Oh, wow, wow, look at that. That is neat. I mean, I was that. I just wanted the specimen, but like, um, it comes with a, uh, a landscape. Well, we'll review this bit by bit. I'm actually after the specimen. Oh my goodness. What a real bonus here. Okay, nothing could have uh, prepared me for, uh, for this, so please bear with me. Right, we've got this uh, first set sleeve. We've got a secondary sleeve here which includes the tail of the specimen. So I'm gonna just uh, open that up. Wow. Well, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, to be honest. But, wow. <laughs> just so you know, right, this was not a, uh, a cheap set, but I did have to get it either way. set of eggs here and that's that's um oh look at that it's a hatchling that's just so adorable all right let's um do things appropriately there's a lot of uh, pieces around here No, this is not going to be a simple review, so if I'm a bit sloppy here, roll you up. I do apologise. Look at that background. Flaming Cliffs, Mongolia. I'll just set it aside there. Okay, so here we've got the base. Look at that. Really nicely detailed. Got some bones, some footprints, some foliage there. Just looks nice. Got um, All right, I hate this uh, sort of packaging. Okay, that's out. Second uh, bit of packaging there. Right, done. Now, look at this here. That's a protoceratops skull. That is just incredible. Now, for the main feature. Okay, he's set free. I'm not going to be focusing on the base here. My focus is on the specimen itself, so do bear with me. Alright, that took me ages to position this specimen in a uh, legit angle. 
and already it looks okay. So okay, yeah, this uh, specimen is from a company called Beasts of the Mesozoic, and I've heard good reviews about these uh, models that I produced. They are on the price side, though they do they do come with uh, articulated joints, which I am not, to be honest, a fan of, and I do apologise to anyone who is a fan of them. But for this specimen, I did have to make an exception because I did need an Alverosaurid in the collection. And I must say, right, looking at it from this uh, angle, it, it looks amazing. You really need to have one, especially if you're diverse with your specimens, then by all means, I encourage you to get one. Here we have a Mononychus. That means one claw. It's lived 70 million years ago in Mongolia, which uh, have produced some of the best and most diverse range of dinosaurs yeah, ever known. That includes Velociraptor and uh, Therizinosaurus. Now, looking at a uh, Mononychus, doesn't it just ring some familiarity with you? I mean, you'd say it looks like a bird. Very, uh... Odd bird, but well, unlike modern birds, Monomachus possesses this elongated feathered tail, but no wings, just these bizarre singular claws, hence the name. About a metre long, no larger than a turkey, or well, not as fat, of course. These uh, claws have been subject to speculation, suggested that they use them for. Uh, Probing for like termites or hugging trees while the uh, bill there was used to uh, grow up for insects form of maybe parallel evolution to woodpeckers. One of Lycus was an alverosaurid, a very peculiar group of uh, theropods uh, in the uh, Maloroptorian uh, clade. That uh, group does include uh, Raptors, the Ornithomimids, and Therizinosaurids. Mm. Well, you can see more of a relation to uh, the Ornithomimids there. Now, people do like to uh, make a mockery of uh, Tyrannosaurids for their tiny arms, but they neglect modern day birds like the Kiwi who have lost their arms entirely. Well, wings, actually. Truth be told, this. Uh, wing reduction isn't at all unique among uh, dinosaurs. Well, I mean theropods. Modern day birds are theropods. Don't you understand what I'm trying to say? Well, I'm going to review this model now. I've got to be careful because it was a nightmare to position this. Like, I haven't completed uh, it all. I'm not going to bother. Right. Ignoring the uh, articulated joints, this model is actually pretty decent. Stays true to the skeletal uh, format there. Very bird-like uh, plumage, consistent of something like uh, wildfowl. Red eyes there. Also indicating a uh, possible nocturnal uh, lifestyle. Bit of a greyish green khaki uh, snout there. Yeah, the uh, the articulated joints there, they don't show up uh, too bad, but it can be ignored if you position it at an angle. Yeah, that looks okay. This is why I chose this uh, particular model. Let's see, uh, yep, yeah, the fan of feathers articulated um, horizontally. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, actually. Um, you know, you do have to make exceptions, so uh, if you want an Alvera sword, I'd say go for this model, like, but that's your, that's your own choice. Do what you want. The Alvera swords are known from uh, Asia and South America, with some hints known in uh, North America.
Now, um, here's the thing, right? Like, uh, it's a bit of mystery coming to me, right? Like, um, the split off between like uh, Lurish and Gondwana. Like, uh, it makes me wonder, like, um, these uh, species, right, must have existed, like, you know, for a while between them, so they must have been around prior to that split. Now, of course, they don't dispute a wider distribution, so, um, yeah, it makes me wonder, how much further has this uh, family been around, you know, prior to the uh, gondwana Laurasian split? I don't know. This model comes with uh, adjustable limbs. Now, just imagine one of these going up to a tree on the and the jaws doing the rest of the work there. It's a tributude uh, specialization, no doubt prone to uh, extinction eventually, but no less uh, remarkable. Now I can uh, visage uh, Monlycus being uh, domesticated. What would they taste like? I mean, being domesticated, obviously they'd be uh, plump from that. The red meat being converted to uh, like a pink meat. Also, um, when it comes to the much anticipated prospect of uh, reverse engineering a dinosaur from like a chicken, I can see uh, something like the Mononychus being one of the, uh, you know, the experimental results. Reactivating the uh, wing into a clawed hand. I mean, look at modern birds, they do have a singular claw. <sighs> when you look at Mononychus, right, you don't think of something theropod, you think of a bird entirely. Yeah, reactivating the, uh, the tail gene, like, you know, would be one of the first uh, products. So you can see that. So no doubt, reverse engineering, you're gonna see something on the Mononychus form beyond any sort of doubt. Okay, now this is not the intended uh, setup or anything like that. It's a, there's a scalation of uh, the V stuff the Mesozoic set. If uh, eclectic protoceratops. Now these models are, uh, I'd say just about up to scale. But whenever you get this set, you can do whatever you want with it. But still, that's nice. Um, in later videos, I will show you a uh, improved version of that. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I know this is a bit of a deviation from my usual preference, but I needed a Mononychus. I love the coloration there. Maybe you could do like you know, a drawing or something, like you know, remove the articulation joints. But just think of the diversity when it comes to uh, specimens. You'll, you'll know what I mean. I mean, the Alverosaurids are quite peculiar creatures. I'm going to have a difficult time, like, you know, standing this one up because it was a nightmare putting together that uh, stand there. Even if you uh, don't, like, use the stand for the model, you'll have other uses for it. Like, if you were to make a diorama of, like, Mongolian specimens, I really do recommend it. Alright, I'm going to sign out right now. Um, I've got a specimen I'm going to do a review of uh, tomorrow, so stay tuned. Okay.